Sharks have always filled people with awe and dread. Although fishermen's tales are not the most reliable of pronouncements, they have over the years told of many strange retrievals from the stomachs of captured sharks. One species, tiger sharks, are nicknamed the garbage cans of the ocean due to their habit of trying to eat anything, whether it is edible or not. But most sharks are not particularly picky eaters. In April 1902, the steamer Guthrie was anchored in Moreton Bay, Queensland. The crew passed some time fishing and reeled in a 12 foot long shark. Its stomach contained a Newfoundland dog and a carpet python. In January 1927, an 11-foot shark, with jaws 15 inches across, was caught in the Clarence River, New South Wales. This one had consumed a 4-foot long fish and a calf. At Maroubra, New South Wales, in January 1917, a 10-foot blue pointer was found to have swallowed a lady's bangle, made of American coins, a badge, and the upper plate of a set of false teeth. In 1911, a shark was found at St Kilda, Victoria, with a bell inside. On January the 5th, 1949, off Leeton, Western Australia, an eight-foot-long tiger shark was caught. A partially decomposed human hand was found inside of the fish, too damaged to be fingerprinted. The hand was slim, with long fingernails, like a woman or a youth's. It was thought the hand most likely belonged to one of two 17-year-olds, Arthur Strawn, who vanished while swimming to rescue his sister near Laslan Island on the 27th of December 1948, or Alan Quartley, a ship's bellboy who was missing when the liner Stratheden left Fremantle on the 21st of December 1948. In August 1952, a 165-pound shark was caught off the southern coast of Japan. When cut open, a wild bear was found inside. Groups of bears had been observed swimming in the sea in search of food. Near Nagasaki, Japan, in October 1954, the body of a boy clothed in shirt and shorts was found inside a 2,000 pound shark. Gay Gibson was a 21 year old actress who disappeared from the Durban Castle, a steamship, in October 1947, en route to England from South Africa. A steward, James Camp, admitted being in Miss Gibson's cabin, but denied murdering her. He claimed she died of a seizure while they were having sex, and in a panic he stuffed her body out of a porthole and into the ocean. Although there was no body, he became the first defendant in England found guilty of murder without one. He was jailed until 1959, but later served more time for sex offences before his death in 1979. But possibly some of the body of Miss Gibson was found. In December, a skull and finger bones with manicured fingernails were found inside a 650 pound shark caught off the coast of Natal. A strange find was made off Brazil in 1916. Inside a shark was a bag, inside which were some papers. They had been placed there to avoid being found by law enforcement officers by the captain of the Maria Quisada who was supplying provisions to German naval cruisers in contravention of American law during the First World War. The find led to the prosecution of five officials and employees of the Hamburg America Line. The omnivorousness of sharks is further demonstrated by a tiger shark caught at Bondi Beach in August 1916. Its stomach contained a 20 pound porcupine fish, a porpoise, a smaller shark, an albatross with a six-foot wingspan, and a King Charles Spaniel with collar. Dogs often are found as shark food. At Mauritius in February 1913, one was found in a 12 and a half foot long shark, along with a goat and a large collection of animal bones. An 11 foot long blue pointer shark was landed near Picnic Point, several miles inland in the Georges River in Sydney in February 1946. It was found to contain the head of a dog and a man's chrome wristlet watch. Who owned the watch before the shark got it was unknown. Several dogs had been grabbed by sharks in the months beforehand though. Another watch had been found in a shark's stomach on the 17th of December 1930. A 10-foot shark caught off Watson's Bay, New South Wales, had swallowed a woman's handbag in which was a comb, pencil, powder puff, 
and wristwatch, which was still ticking. At Townsville in January 1933, a shark nearly 11 feet long was found to have consumed a fowl, a snake, some bones, a piece of saddle blanket and other items. On October the 8th, 1950, a 13-foot tiger shark caught at Collaroy Beach, Sydney, had ingested several large pieces of whale meat, a three-foot shovel-nosed shark, two small fish hooks, some bird feathers and a bicycle pump. The same fisherman caught a 14-foot shark soon after, but as it thrashed on the beach, a large wave surged over the sand, and the fortunate fish was able to swim to safety. In February 1925, the cook on a fishing steamer, the Gilbert San, went missing. In April, the ship returned to the area near Montague Island, where Dietrich was last seen. A shark they caught, when cut open, revealed a man's leg bone and a pair of black boots, identical to those worn by the cook. A ring found inside a shark was used in court to prove a man's death in 1942. Captain George Dewey Hodges was listed as missing when his ship was torpedoed off Cuba in July of that year. In November, his ring was found in a shark caught off Newport, Virginia. The inscription GDH and ERG 17 was inscribed on the ring. His widow, the former Edna Randolph Green, identified the ring as a gift she had given him in 1917. An entire woman's leg clad in stocking and shoe was retrieved from a dead shark in Wellington, New Zealand in October 1899. A victim of World War II was found in a shark. Petty Officer Lewis of the Australian Navy, serving somewhere north of New Guinea, wrote to his father in July 1945 of catching a five-foot shark, which had swallowed an entire messenger pigeon, with the message still attached to the bird's leg. Part of a human chest was found in a six-foot grey nurse shark caught at Wollongong in September 1911. It was surmised it was from one of two brothers who had disappeared, thought drowned a week earlier. The only other thing in the stomach was a lump of coal. Three days later, the same Italian fisherman caught another shark, which had a human forearm inside. It was then feared that as William Nicholl, 40, and George Nicholl, 25, had vanished suddenly when on their way out of the water, that they had been attacked by the sharks. Two of William's seven children had seen the men suddenly disappear from the beach. Another shark who snacked on coal was caught at Port Augusta, South Australia, in September 1928. The coal was in a small bag. Also in the 14 and a half foot long shark's stomach was a rib bone from a horse. Five miles off Sydney in March 1918, a 14-foot blue pointer shark was found, which had swallowed a book cover and a straw hat. A professional fisherman in 1936 recalled that the strangest find he had personally seen was when a tiger shark, which had been caught, began issuing blood, bubbles and foam from its mouth. It was noticed the stomach was distended and had a roughly man-shaped appearance. The shark was opened and instead of a human victim, it was found the shark had swallowed a small crate containing three bottles of beer, one of which had broken. The beer from the unbroken bottles was gleefully quaffed by the fisherman and his mates. Back in February 1888, a hammerhead shark was caught in St Vincent Gulf, South Australia, with a more temperance-minded attitude. This shark had swallowed a lemonade bottle from the aerated Waters Company. The shark was stuffed for the Port Adelaide Museum, and the bottle returned to the company. In September 1952, a bottle of a different kind was reportedly found inside a shark by Italian fishermen at Voltry. A message had been placed in a bottle written by Louis Leclerc of Nice, France. He told of how the fishing boat he was aboard had been wrecked, and that he was now in a lifeboat with no food or water being tossed about by a storm. He concluded the letter with a farewell to his wife and children. The letter was dated 24th of October 1948 and provided the only clue to the disappearance of the boat in the Mediterranean around that time. The most remarkable find in a shark was chronicled by a 16th century French doctor and naturalist, Guillaume Rondelet, who wrote in 1554 
about the discovery inside a great white shark of the remains of a knight still in his suit of armour. While the story has been doubted over the years, Rondelet's book was carefully scientifically researched and was the standard work on marine life for a century afterwards, so it very possibly is true. Anything, anything at all, it seems, can be shark food. <laughs>